Hello, it's me again. How's everyone? Good. And uh, today is a uh, day 14, uh, the 14 days of a uh, DIY technique. And uh, today is the last technique to teach you guys the call anchor injury. And a lot of people got a uh, twisted anchor due to the um, spot, football, basketball, jumping, and badminton, whatever they were. We call it sudden stop and twisted. So they have a uh, two type of uh, anchor injury. One is uh, the white call. The, when you twist the time, the anchor, the two eyes, we call it the eyes, uh, pop or MTP or what I call the side wound over here is line. So you can see the foot, this is example, this is a foot. A lot of people, due to the not in the right position and twisted, and this part and swollen and then another type is pop and injured this part. Alright, so usually for, for this uh, anchor injuries, uh, uh, quite, quite normal, quite normal injury. Uh, a lot of a patient like uh, uneven, uh, uneven step also can injury due to like uh, especially uh, due to the what I call high and low step, high and low step, then uh, not in the right and twisted. Hi, Dr. Alex Ong, how are you? And uh, twisted and uh, twisted at ankle. Another one uh, due to the sports like uh, badminton jumping, landing not in the landing not in the even position or sudden stop, also got injury. And uh, football, a lot of injury. If you football, they have two types of injury. One is a uh, normal on the on the, on the field. You play the football in the field, injury not that serious. And now the fusa, the fusa they are using uh, what I call the rubber mat or the cement one. You are twisted and injury. That one is more serious. Sometimes the uh, the injury that they call it dislocation on the ankle will affect fracture, affect misalignment, affect the 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 totally or the dis dislocation on the ankle. And very easy to check. So whatever you are, example, a lot of people like step. This is a step. Standing on top and land and step on it and twist like this clock. Ah, my ankle. Oh my god. Whatever you can see the ankle twist like this up uh, on the one side to one side. Uh. So this is called ankle. Very easy to check how you injure the ankle. This after you twisted or badminton, sudden, sudden stop, whatever here or here, sudden, sudden stop, pop will line or uh, line or uneven. You step on the uneven fall and you twist it. Ah, also a fact, and uh, especially for quite a number of a uh, female, especially female, and now it's a raining season. Wow, two weeks raining non stop on Malaysia. And a uh, raining season, and a lot of girls uh, like to wear a high heel, high heel, and they try to run to the car to get the car. But you know the car they have what I call the, the main hole there, small, and step and twist. And you know the the, the high heel they have one <laughs> one lock and stuck on the hole and twisted. And I got a feel see uh, some of the patient because of uh, this is a very serious uh, because they run to the pick the car and step on the hole and stuck. And they are twisted. One thing they twisted is not twist on the leg. They twisted and the whole body and sit back on the leg. And twisted and whole body, he don't know how to balance, he's stuck on the leg and the buttock, sit back on the leg. Ha ha! This one serious. And until your leg fracture here, fracture here, fracture here. And this one considered serious. And how you check whether it's a twisted or fracture or dislocation? Where is it checked? Like example. And how you def uh, differentiate these few things? If you, if you, in a sport badminton, you're twisted. Oh, don't know what to do. I, uh, I got what, what, what. The most important stem using the what I call the very traditional way. We call it using the cold water or just open the water and put the leg and let the uh, the water flow. At least call the cold water or put some ice. Why want to put the ice or using a, a cold water? Because the cold water and the ice too. To, to what I call to stop the breathing inside what I call the cobbler cobbler and uh, don't want it swollen some more if it's swollen some more if it's swollen very really until bigger it's like a like a balloon uh. if it's like a balloon uh, then you want to subside whatever you've done already align back your position you need about two weeks time to subside so that's why when you twist it you put ice and uh, what to stop the swollen okay and uh, if you walk try to don't walk e equal usually 50% 50% 100% if you got injured on one leg, whatever you walk, you try to walk normal leg 80% and a pain leg 20% or try to no walk using a stick and helping. So 
Okay, I teach you how to see whether it's a fracture or injured the muscle or injured the tendon or injured the bone or fracture. Alright, whatever you can see like swollen, swollen only, then it's called you are uh, injured the muscle and uh, muscle only. Whatever you put the hand, wow, feel very hot. Uh. The ankle here, wow, you feel wow, very hot. Wow, very hot, uh, warm, uh, hot. Whatever you feel hot is called inflammation. The inflammation part is due to injured and the nerve and the muscle injury and affect inflammation. And whatever you can see a blue black, wow, the, the, the whole leg, uh, the blue black, blue black, here come here, blue black. Whatever you can see a blue black, we call it the got a hairline fracture. You can see the whole leg is swollen and uh, uh, the blue black color or like um, dark, uh, dark blue or orange, uh, not, not orange, dark blue and also uh, yellowish. That one is called inside misalignment, dislocation and fracture. And at least you can uh, uh, see, whatever you can see, whatever you got a fracture or got blue black come out already, ha, means your bone misalignment and also the bone fracture and you have to go to your hospital or you can look for the alternative we call it the da, to align back top to the posture and using the what I call the ice pack to subside all right and all right so guys uh, some people after i see doctor already oh done already i done everything i see but after one month uh, I, I tell you chris after one month uh, my ankle stupid how how pain is this i don't know uh, i tell you uh, every time i walk Every time I walk in the morning, no swollen. Okay, only I walk, 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 five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour, or go to a wet market, I come back, my leg is swollen. So that's why I have to buy the, the shoe shoe size. Uh. One leg is bigger than another leg. One is a size seven, this is a size six, because you walk swollen, no walk, subside. Walk swollen, no walk, subside. Walk swollen, no walk, subside. So this is due to the, the bone is not in the right position. Whatever the bone is not in the right position, every time you walk, pain and swollen. When you're in the right position, you feel better and great. No pain and no solid. All right. So, okay. And the second thing, if you're during the injury within the two weeks, three weeks time, so don't try to use any pressure on the leg. At the same time, don't try to twist around your leg. Try not because it's a need time to repair it. Now I teach you how to. Let's say you are like injured two part. So one part is injured on the eye, another one on the side leg. This part and this part. So this part is quite easy. But a lot of people injured on the leg, the leg this part. And quite easy for this one, you gotta use a bamboo, the ice cream stick, ice cream stick and put and tie it up. That's all, or put a 50, uh, 50 cent coin and put it and tie it up, counting. And teach you how to do it. Eh? Just imagine, uh, put the anchor down a little bit. Anchor down a little bit. All right. So usually a lot of people like this. <laughs> They're like clack, and injured which part? Uh, okay. Injured. Injured which part? <laughs> injured here first. Whatever you injured, uh, very easy. You press uh, from here. You 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 just uh, using your finger and pull down. And pull down, you can feel, you can feel your got one bone over here. Uh, this is called protrude out only. The protrude, you draw one line. This one. Now you can see this part. Uh. A lot of people got injured this part. Press away. Ow, painful. Ow, pain. Ow, pain. Ah, pain. So, what you do? Quite easy. And you got a uh, ice cream stick or anything hard like this one. <laughs> like this one. You put it on the pain part from here to here. You feel the pain part. Usually, this one you can feel the truth. What this is called the two bone together. Quite a lot number of injury, and this is called overlapping. And then this one, you use a this is a lighter like easy for me. You can use an ice cream stick or something, uh, uh, a flat surface. You press it over this side, press it over this side. This is DIY, or you help yourself, uh, and put your hand over here, thumb, thumb over here, and holding like this, holding like this, and try to rotate, like this, slowly, slowly, and rotate, ah, like this, hear the sound, Tok. <coughs> nah. <laughs> I know it's painful, 
but it's work. Now uh, after that, how you check back? If you check back on this part, because of this part, the one bone and one bone is protruded like this out. So what you do, you're using this part to compress, and when you turn the time, uh, you turn your leg to this side, because you are injured on this side. Uh. So this one, compress, and let the bone to align back to the posture. So whatever easy to check, press back and touch. You see, this more flattened, more flat. Just now you got to feel like protrude and very painful. Now you try and rub again, rub again. See? Not so painful. And straight. Done. Then what you do, using the ice cream stick, put over here and try to use a plaster to tidy up for one week. You can alternative change and after shower already, you put. But try to avoid don't do like this, do like this. Or no sitting on your own leg. If you're sitting on your own leg, own leg it will come out again. Alright, so this is a uh, this side injury. Quite a lot of uh, number of people have injured this part. How about injured here? Injured here. Because of due to misalignment and the, the ice ball here, high and low. But this one, always when you walk, swollen. No walk, subside. Walk, sub swollen. No walk, subside. And a fact for this two bone in a section, a fact over here misaligned, high and low. That's why always swollen. And you can see the shoe, uh, not enough. That's why this shoe have to wear seven, uh, size 7 and this one have to wear 8 because why swollen you cannot put your uh, leg inside and how you injured this one and how you DIY very easy also I always say very easy means my definition very easy means the step to step step to step very easy means not very easy to DIY very easy follow step to step only a one or two step only that's all all right good and mm, good and this part same thing, you are injured due to your basketball and jump and landing and someone bang you and you landing, touch and clock. This is line this one. This one is the line how you check. Then, because you, you, you are uh, uh, alone. <laughs> no one can help you. And you try to use another leg. Like this, press. Ah, painful, painful. Cannot straight. Means, I want you to do your leg must be can do straight like this 180 can up 90 degree and rotate 330 and rotate 330 and rotate here sideways if you this either front back usually a lot of you injure this part uh, you go front ah painful or up ah painful or rotate cannot cannot like, ah, cannot cannot due to the the bone section is high low and low high and low so okay very easy to check huh? one thing you say scared you close your eye close your eye the one you press up ah! Okay, so at least it's done. <laughs> okay, you know, then try the second time. Eh? You lift up like this, lift up like this. <laughs> please, please, don't, don't, don't. Okay, painful. And third, try to rotate by yourself. Rotate, rotate. Ah, oh, cannot. Every time I rotate, I feel happy. Uh, how about the other side? Ah, oh, cannot. Stop, stop. Jamming, jamming, cannot turn, cannot turn. So at least you know, this is called misalignment and the. <laughs> All right, and how you DIY this one? That's how I got to you guys, right? Before, try, try to, try to using a this leg and step, step over here, step on top, and try to, ah, like this, try to move front, pop, and straight, and try to pull up. Mm. Now you can feel, and here, mm. ah, hop. Of course, it's very painful. You have to balance yourself first because you have to open up this gap. Uh, usually, this one is called misalignment on this side and high and low. Why you're stepping on your own leg? Whatever you're stepping on your own leg, same like this one. Step on your own leg and you try to jerk and align back this this joint. Whatever is like little bit on the top, then you can feel top is a back to the uh, the position. You can feel like your joint positioning. Top. After that, you can feel wow. Better. Or you can on the side way sitting like this, holding and holding. So this one holding back to the eyes and this one compressed. The most important, the two pump. The two pump side. One is on the dislocation part, another one, another. So you can feel. Then you can slowly manipulate. Now you can feel it. You can feel tick pop. Tick pop. Okay. And try to rotate and push in. <coughs> Here, up, and down. Good. Ah. Ah, painful, but it's nice. 
and rotate. You can feel these two gap together, these two gap together, and hold tight and try to rotate. Yeah, correct. Yes, perfect. What you did is correct. And rotate, you can hear something tick tack tick tack and snap left and right. <coughs> and up, down. Okay, then you finally you can hear some very gentle sound. Tick tock. Then you can feel better. Then, how to check back again? How to check back? Very easy. Leg straight. Back. Rotate. Rotate. Ah, then you can feel much more better. Then you can uh, apply it the eyes and subside and subside the swollen. Okay? Always remember how you do. One. The technique number one. Step on your own leg. Step on your own leg. Like this. Like this, holding something, cannot support, like this, step and, <coughs> ah, left, and again, <coughs> yes, this is the first technique. The second technique, the first technique, you compress and open up this joint, these two. The second technique, you cannot, you cannot stand, very painful, you cannot stand. What should I do, Chris? I cannot stand, very painful. Huh? Then you pull on the side like this, and using the pump, pump, one pump, two here, yeah, ice, another pump, locking. Then you try to, ah, you hear the sound, talk. <laughs> like this, you use this hand and press down, and this one, lift up. Mm. Ah, hear the sound, pick up, align back the posture, and the second one, this one done already, then rotate on over here, and turn. <coughs> ah, tuck. done. Good, smells good. <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the, DIY technique for the ankle injury and it's due to a uh, football, basketball, jumping, uh, uneven step or wearing a high heel and uh, this, uh, this uh, ankle uh, injury is quite uh, useful because uh, I still remember last time I got uh, playing the wushu, playing wushu they have a lot of uh, jumping skill but that jumping skill slightly misaligned at the time in China so on the spot I stay on the, on the floor and try to snap step here the sound <sighs> then I, I at least I can walk because I have to walk back to my hostel I think about two two to three hundred meters away so at least I can walk back easily and go back and rest for a while put some uh, uh, cold patch uh, cold water or ice pack then it's outside so then then you manipulate alignment to position then should be okay good all right so and usually for after you're done ready try to avoid don't take too many sour things because uh, he, he need a two weeks time. Usually after whatever you did already, uh, two weeks time to rest you repairing. Repairing usually need two weeks. Same like you know I cut the wounds. Ah, I cut myself. I cut myself. You put any plaster or put anything, tomorrow you're not healed. It's only dry skin out. After dry skin, it takes you seven days to think out, uh, come out and what. So usually at whatever, only the skin, you got the cuts, you got wounds, uh, got wounds, he need about two weeks time to fully recover. Same like our wound section, misalignment or dislocation, or the inflammation, or the muscle, muscle spasm, or muscle, mu muscle tear, or what. So also need about two weeks time to self-repairing, all right? And I try to uh, reduce back all the sour thing and take more calcium and protein to strengthen back. Haha, <laughs> good. All right, and uh, very good, and uh, I complete for the whole, uh, recap back what we learned on the DIY from the last 14 days, these two weeks continuing because of the lockdown for the coronavirus. I start the first DIY on 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31st. Two weeks time already. So in these 14 days, uh, every day I teach you guys uh, very well. Just recap back what I teach you. One, migraine, headache, uh, neck, uh, neck, nose, nose, shoulder, or DIY, uh, shoulder, elbow, the queen, the queen means mother finger, and wrist and fingers, what I call the fingers, uh, trigger fingers, and also the injury due to the basketball hit. And also lower back, your hips high and low, sciatica nerve, slip disc, knee injury, and also the ankle. Hmm, I think it's quite complete, lo, quite complete. <laughs> So tomorrow, um, today is the end class, uh, two weeks, uh, two weeks from junior teacher DIY. Maybe uh, I will not say about six o'clock, maybe tomorrow I'm free. I can uh, chit chat with you. You guys got any question, you can uh, 
shoot to me, then I will teach you some uh, very good. And uh, today I just finished an interview by uh, uh, the call it the China, uh, the media using a tele, uh, what I call video conferencing uh, interview, and very good. And asking me uh, during this uh, whole period uh, from uh, young until now, any depression or any what any hiccup or what? I say no, very good for all. I think uh, coronavirus the time uh, impact cannot go to work. <laughs> all right, doesn't matter. And hope you guys stay at home and stay in healthy and spend quality time with all your family members and it's the right time for you to spend quality time to everyone all right good thank you and i christian love you